Proportional Perimeters in Arius Theorem 7.5b. So now we've got 10 previous videos for Chapter 7 that you can find in the description. A similarity ratio is a ratio of two corresponding linear measurements in a pair of similar figures. So here we have two similar triangles. This one has sides 5, 4, and 3. This one has sides 10, 8, and 6. If we take this 5 and put it over this corresponding side 10 of this triangle, we have 5 tenths, which is a half. We can put this side 4 over 8, which is its corresponding side. We get 4 eighths, which is a half. 3 over 6 is a half. The similarity ratio for these two triangles is a half. A perimeter ratio is the ratio of perimeters of two similar figures. So again, we have our same two similar triangles, and if we find the perimeter of the pink one, we get 5 plus 4 plus 3, which is 12, and if we do the black one, 10 plus 8 plus 6 is 24, our perimeter ratio is a half, just like the similarity ratio. An area ratio is the ratio of the areas of two similar figures. So again, we have our similar triangles, and the formula for area of a triangle is half base height. If we do the base times the height, 3 times 4, we get 12. If we do 6 times 8, we get 48. And we multiply it by a half, and we get 6 24ths, which reduces to 1 4th, which can also be written as half squared. So for your notes, we have Theorem 7.5.1, the Proportional Perimeters and Area Theorem, which says if the similarity ratio of two similar figures is A over B, then the ratio of the perimeters is A over B, and the ratio of their areas is A squared over B squared, which can also be written as A over B squared. So in other words, for similar figures, the similarity ratio of corresponding sides is equal to the perimeter ratio. And the area ratio is equal to the square of the similarity ratio, and it's also equal to the square of the perimeter ratio. Because they're the same, right? And this is helpful if we have difficulty finding a similarity ratio. If we know the area ratio is 16 25ths, then we know the similarity ratio is the square root of 16 25ths or 4 fifths. We can use ratios to find perimeters and areas. Given that triangle RST is similar to triangle UVW, find the perimeter and area of triangle UVW. So it's telling us, it's giving us that this is a 16 foot length here. We can also see that's 20 feet. It's telling us that the perimeter is 36 feet and the area is 48 feet squared. We need to find the perimeter and area for this one. Well, the similarity ratio of triangle RST to triangle UVW is 16 over 20. See? It simplifies to 4 fifths. By the proportional perimeters and areas theorem, the ratio of the triangle's perimeters is also 4 fifths. And the ratio of the triangle's areas is 4 fifths squared, or 16 20 fifths. So the perimeter of RST was 36. We need to find the perimeter of UVW. We know that our perimeter ratio was 4 fifths. We do cross products. We get 4p is equal to 5 times 36. 5 times 36 is 180. We divide both sides by the 4 coefficient, and we get that the perimeter of triangle UVW is 45 feet. We were given that the area of RST was 48. We need to find the area of UVW. We know the area ratio is 16 25ths. We do cross products. 16a is equal to 25 times 48. 25 times 48 is 1,200. Then we divide both sides by the coefficient 16 and get that the area is equal to 75 feet squared for triangle UVW. Here we have another one. 
We're given that rectangle MNPQ is similar to rectangle RSTU. So this rectangle is similar to this one. We can find the perimeter and area of RSTU. It's given that this side is 4 centimeters and this side is 6 centimeters. It's a rectangle, so this is also 4 centimeters and this is also 6 centimeters, isn't it? Our similarity ratio is 4 over 6, or it simplifies to 2 thirds. Make sure you always simplify your ratios, okay? And by the proportional perimeters and areas theorem, the ratio of the rectangle's perimeters is also 2 thirds, and the ratio of areas is 2 thirds square, or 4 ninths. So our perimeter for our first rectangle was 14. We need to find the perimeter for RSTU. We were given the perimeter ratio of 2 thirds. We do cross products. We have 2P is equal to 3 times 14. 3 times 14 is 42. We divide both sides by the 2 coefficient and get that the perimeter of RSTU is 21 centimeters. And we were given that the area of MNPQ was 12 and we need to find the area of RSTU. It was 12 centimeters squared, wasn't it? So we don't have to write the centimeters squared when we're doing this. We write cross products. We know the area ratio was 4 ninths. We have 4A equals 9 times 12. 9 times 12 is 108. We divide both sides by the 4 coefficient and get that the area of RSTU is 27 centimeters squared. So remember, put that little squared there because we're doing area, okay? So our next lesson is dilations and similarity in the coordinate plane. That's the first part of 7.6 as 7.6a. Then we've got two more parts for 7.6 as segment partition and direct variation. So I hope you were able to write down the theorem in your notes, and I hope you understand about similarity ratio, area ratio, and perimeter ratio. And I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.